we introduce adversarial self-supervised learning for semi-supervised 3D action recognition. First, we introduce the task of 3D action recognition. Unlike traditional action recognition methods that predict the human actions from RGB videos, 3D action recognition aims to recognize human actions by learning motion features from the 3D human pose videos. Human action recognition based on skeleton data has received a lot of attention. Due to its effective representation of human motion, recent works mainly learn human action features with deep learning networks. For CNN-based methods, spatial temporal features are learned with CNN to recognize actions. To capture temporal information, many methods design the recurrent neural networks, RNS, to capture the motion features from sequences as graph-structured data. There are many graph-based methods to be used for 3D action recognition. Though successful, this supervised method highly rely on massive data samples with action labels, which are expensive to obtain. Instead of relying on many labels in fully supervised methods, we use only a few labeled data in semi-supervised 3D action recognition. It learns from a training set that includes both labeled and unlabeled data. This task aims at using unlabeled data to capture more discriminative motion features. Recently, self-supervised learning has performed a strong power in learning features from unlabeled data. So we couple self-supervised learning with semi-supervised 3D action recognition and propose an adversarial self-supervised learning framework for this task. In this work, the self-supervised learning aims to use unlabeled data to enhance the model's ability of learning and generalization, such as the requirement for labeled data can be alleviated. Because images contain rich information that is beneficial to feature extraction, many effective self-supervised methods are aim-based. Skeleton data represent a person by 3D positions of drawings. It becomes very difficult to use self-supervised learning to learn motion features. So in this work, the self-supervised learning contains two parts, skeleton in painting and neighborhood consistency. Skeleton in painting aims to fill the masked human parts in the input sequence, which learns temporal information for each unlabeled sequence. But it, it ignores the shared information among samples with the same action class. However, neighborhoods can be considered as tiny sample acre clusters with high class consistency. So in this feature space, we select the neighbors and it requires that the samples within neighborhood have a similar prediction, which can learn the underlying class concept of the motion features by neighborhood consistency. We also find that directly applying self-supervised learning or semi-supervised learning suffers from the misalignment of representations learned from self-supervised and supervised learning tasks. This misalignment will weaken the generalization of semi-supervised 3D action recognition models to unseen samples. So we propose to use a adversarial training to couple self-supervised learning into semi-supervised learning, which can align their feature distributions. We compare the performance of our proposed model with baselines for semi-supervised 3D action recognition and show results on NTU and NUCLA datasets in tables. We can see that our ASSL achieves the best results on both datasets. This is ablation study. We analyze the 
effects of self-supervised learning in table three. People whose consistency can learn more discriminative motion representations that are more beneficial for semi-supervised 3D action recognition. And the results prove that the features learned by our neighborhood consistency are complementary to those learned with self imprinting We also analyze effects of adversarial training the improved performance in table four proves that it is an effective strategy to couple self-supervised learning with semi-supervised method by adversarial training. We also visualize the feature distributions with TSNE. Compared with that, the features of ASSL without adversarial training present tighter distributions, which benefit from self-supervised learning but long tail distributions still exist for unlabeled samples. The figures of third columns show the alignment between feature distributions of labeled and unlabeled data for ASSL with adversarial training. The results prove the effectiveness of adversarial training for coupling self-supervised learning with semi-supervised action recognition. For more information, please read our paper. Thank you very much.